Hey guys, this Myth Week, there's an opportunity to win prizes. Yeah, but not just one of you guys to win, but three. We have three bundle prizes. And here's what you could win. The Myth Game, 10 card sleeve packs, a clear brigand for whenever that little rat guy goes into the shadows, a trickster pack, which has two models and the cards, and a Twilight Knight pack with a single model and the cards. In order to win, all you have to do is comment on this video here on YouTube or on beastofboard.com or the corresponding post over on the Facebook page. Or you can do all three and triple your chances. Really? That easy, huh? That easy. At the end of the week, we'll be picking the three winners and you guys will get awesome myth bundles. Let's try and get some more of that red leather onto the pants. <clears throat> For some reason the coat isn't uniform. This is also a problem with the plastic. The primer didn't really adhere to it as much as I, I'd have liked. And uh, to be quite honest, paint simply doesn't doesn't go where it um, where I want it to go. Um, it does in the creases, but not as much as I'd like. Now, it. I'll have a little wash of the color I use for the metals, the olive drab, USA olive drab, on the hair. It's a simple wash, but I think it will enhance the whole the whole thing. I think it still deserves a little more here. Yeah? We'll have a wash on the leathers as well. Not the leather pants, but the, the leather belt, for example. Wash up that darker color. On that bag and the scabbard. Now let's have some of that US field drab. Let me show you. I'll put it here, right next to the um, thing, uh, the deck tan. There. See? That is US Field Drab from Flames of War range. And I will use a dry brush. Well, that brush, you know, that old crappy brush, I will use it to enhance the base. Slightly dilute. The base isn't really dry yet, but that doesn't worry me. I believe this is sand and the rest is wood. Probably. Possibly. In all likelihood. Back to our plastic myth miniature. Uh, this is where we were so far. Looks pretty shabby, but don't worry. We'll correct it all in a while. Uh, let's have some hull red. Everybody needs hull red. I'm sure you know it by now. If you've been following my tutorials, you'll know that this... Oh dear. Needs more shaking. But that this generally is one of my favorite tones. You know why this needs more shaking? Because I haven't been here in a while, hence the beard. So, let's see. Let's have a wash of hull red, shall we? Hull red is good because it's going to cover all of the shading for us. <coughs> well, not all of it, but most of it. It's going to shade the orange, it's going to shade the red leather, and it's going to shade uh, the uh, face and flesh. It's possible it'll even shade the metal and leather. Look at that, beautiful.
and the hair, everything I tell you. Now let's avoid the little bubbles that can pop up here and there. Apart from that, we're in business. So, I'll grab a 2-0 brush and while this is still drying I will kind of blend it here. Especially I'll add some of the USA Olive Drab. And I'll just dab away here and there. This will kind of uh, outline, delineate the, uh, the areas. Because so far, paint has been very stubborn and has pulled out of the creases. Let's have some more of the whole red as well underneath here. Because I think it needs the shadows. I will now highlight some of the leathers with a deck tan mixed with the earthy earth tone color that I, that I used for the base. If I can, yes. That'll be pretty much it. Let me show you. This is the one. There we go. I'll try and get some of the leather highlighted here as well. A bit more, a bit more blended perhaps. Just with the base color for the leather. And then with some of the flesh tone, actually, no, um, I'll use some yellow, deep yellow. From the Flames of War range. This is the deep yellow. I will mix it 50% of yellow and 50% of red leather. And this will be a fine highlighting color for our pants. Yep, actually it looks more like the orange for the shirt, so I will stop it. I will use red, flat red instead. I'm sure it'll be fine. There's my flat red. I'm sure in small doses it'll be much, but much better. Yes, much. Everybody makes mistakes, and if I mix it in with the red leather, we end up with a nice intermediary color. Some form of a, of a mass red, actually. The yellow I will use um, to mix with the orange from the mm, base coat of the shirt. Slightly. I will highlight the orange parts with it. Uh, 
only uh, the very top highlights really. So it doesn't really need uh, a huge amount. Just on top of certain surfaces, is, is so, so as to um, make them a little more uniform and not as dirty.